Hey, 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 come on in here, come on in here on this Working Woman Wednesday. I got $20. I got $20, but this ain't my $20 for you. But I got $20 and I want to share with you how far this $20 can go. So come on in. Let's get this party started. It is your girl, Kiri, Kiri A. Katz, K-Style Collection. I am coming to you live and we are in color. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Super excited to be here with you this afternoon on this uh, Working Woman Wednesday, this Work It Wednesday, this Winning Wednesday, this Wisdom Wednesday um, for this Candid with Kiri conversation. I love sharing about a little bit about who I am, what I do, and why it's important for you to know or even if you care to know <laughs> so I just want to come on in and have this brief conversation with you on this uh, afternoon uh, lunch half hour and uh, share with you just uh, rather briefly um, some of a little bit about who I am and again um, what I do and why it's important uh, for for you and for others right so come on in, come on in. I'm trying to see what's going on with my, um, okay, here we go. I'm trying to hit the share button. So if you don't mind, go ahead and hit the share button. We're going to share this out. Of course, we share because sharing is caring. If you don't know how to support, you ain't got to spend a penny. Hitting the share button is actually a form of support. And I definitely greatly appreciate each and every one of you who continuously share um, and don't find it robbery um, in there. Uh, time to share the love okay so come on in come on in I'm just gonna share this to my team page as well as my pages let's see I already shared it to my group I'm gonna share it to my page um, here we are all right and we're gonna get this party started hi Deetra thank you so much for tuning in how you doing girl how you doing sister girl I am coming to you live today. We're going to be talking about Working Woman Wednesday. Working Woman Wednesday. And um, I like doing these Candid with Kiri conversations because I like sharing a little bit about who I am and not just so much about what I do, but the purpose and the reasons behind it. Because I think that's much more important than the actual, you know, the storefront and the facade and all of the pretty and the, the gorgeousness that people see. But deep down, inside i'm still human uh i still have emotions i still go through ups and downs we all have trials and tribulations right um but it's the challenges that come the obstacles that come that um are there not to bring us down but to make us stronger and that's what i like to share and encourage and empower not just my brothers and sisters here in the business but also you at home so um that's what we're going to be talking about um so i'll start from the very beginning who I am. I'm Kiri, y'all. I'm Kiri. Kiri A. Katz. Now, Kiri A. Katz is a Monica, right? So it's an alias. I, and I, I find it actually comical that like on official things, people literally, they write but Kiri Katz. My name is Kiri Teal, okay? My name is Kiri Teal. Um, I'm proud of my name. Um, Kiri Katz is a uh, childhood nickname, but it stuck it, 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 it stuck and it's just now, that's who I am. It's not like an alias. It's not like an alter ego. It's who I am. It's Kiri Katz, but my name is Kiri Teal. Um, I am a serial entrepreneur. I have multiple businesses. However, um, the most front facing business that you see is my paparazzi independent business case style collection where we showcase fabulous accessible um uh, uh, fabulous accessories jewelry and accessories um at an affordable price they're trendy they're fabulous they're gorgeous i'm telling you looking like a million bucks without breaking a bank okay darling this this is this is the look this is the look okay <laughs> this is the look we're, we we're, we're looking like a million bucks and i'm gonna help you put some m's in your account okay we're gonna first start out with we're gonna first start out with 20 all right i'm gonna I'm 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 reference the 20 um but i'm gonna show you how to i'm gonna explain to you how we're gonna flip this 20 into hundreds into thousands into ten thousands into six figures into seven figures okay because there are so many men and women here in this particular line of business that are absolutely killing it and i know that if god can do it for them god can do it for me and if god can do it for me he could do it for you too right so again i'm kiri kiri a cat's k style collection 
Fashion is the name of my business. I'm the proud CEO and owner of that wonderful paparazzi independent business. Thank you so much, Sheena. I'm super excited to be here with you today talking, speaking with you on this Candid with Kiri conversation. Um, how I first started or really learned about paparazzi accessories was through my sponsor, my cousin, um, who at the time was, of course, selling these fabulous accessories. I was already in the fashion industry doing personal styling through another business um, where I had private clientele and being a personal shopper, a personal stylist, et cetera, so forth. And I was like, okay, so I'll buy some fabulous pieces to you know, upgrade my wardrobe. And if my clients like it and love it, then I'll buy a couple of extra pieces pieces for them and and have them you know sell it or buy it too right so I, I literally um, um, in addition to all of the businesses I also am a um, full-time employee and I work in a government uh, government job front facing position so I'm in and out of uh, the judicial buildings and this one particular day as I'm uh, loving and wearing these fabulous accessories I'm in and out of the courtroom and um, getting compliments on a particular piece I want to say it was toasted to perfection it was this beautiful gold piece it was a five dollar piece we had pearls it was gold fabulous fabulous piece I can't exactly remember exactly what I was wearing but I believe it was um uh, Toasted to Perfection, that gorgeous necklace, one of our staple blockbuster pieces. And I'm telling you, from the compliments inside the courtroom, from the attorneys to the agency heads to the litigants in the courtroom to my colleagues in the back office, one stride of the hallway, I could have made it easy $100 in compliments on this one $5 necklace. So I started to do the math. And of course, you know, as my, uh, before she became my sponsor, she was like, you know, you can do this too. You can earn some extra money. And I'm like, I already got a full plate. I'm not trying to add nothing else. I already full time. I got my son here. I'm doing personal style and I'm doing uh, consulting over here, graphic design over there, this, this. I'm like, I got a full plate. I can't add nothing else, right? This is what we all say, right? I, I ain't trying to add nothing else to my plate. But I started to do the math and I'm like, if I can passively earn $5 on this one piece based on the number of compliments people are interested, where did you get that from? Where can I buy that at? Right? I was like, this don't make no sense. Five minutes? Okay, you got it. So I said, you know what? I'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, I'll have, uh, I'll have, I, it won't work out. And I'll just, you know, have some fabulous accessories. Best case scenario, it works out. I make money and I still have fabulous accessories, right? So there is no bad or worse. So I tried it out and this was in September of 2019. So I was like, all right. So I started out and my my initial uh, supporters, which were my family, started buying the accessories. My colleagues started buying the accessories. And I would say those first two to three months, I really saw like a, a boom in interest. And I was like, okay, well, this business wasn't allowed, wasn't able to really allow people to afford me uh, on this side. However, they can afford this uh, reasonable rate. This fits every budget, right? So Fast forward uh, to <laughs> October, uh, November, December. I was like, okay, K-Style Collection. Here we are. Here we are live and in person and in color. We kick it. We booming. We're on the steady growth month over month. I started to increase my inventory as well as increase my profits, right? I was on a high, y'all. I was like, yeah. Y'all show me some heart, some love too. My brothers and sisters who are in the business who you, when you're first starting out, you see those first results and you're excited, you're pumped and you're motivated. You want to keep going, right? So at that time, I enrolled with the $99 preview pack as it was called, which include 35 pieces of jewelry. Hi, Talisha. So I was like, okay, those pieces been gone. I started reinvesting. Here comes J January, 2020 right? And we all know what happened in 2020. 
There were talks and rumors about things shutting down, COVID-19 coming over and how it's going to impact, you know, the United States. And we were just like a little wait and see. Now, let's not forget, I said I work in a government position, still there, um, right? So I'm in the courthouse and, you know, the courts were not prepared. So come... Uh, the following month after like, you know, doing routine, you know, around that time you get your biannuals and annuals, you're doing your doctor stuff. I got my annual visit and stuff. But by that next month in rumors of COVID, I was actually diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer. Now, of course, it hit me as a surprise, took me as a surprise because I didn't have any family history. At the time, I was 33 years old, which is considered relatively young. There was no need for me to do early screening because of my age, my healthy lifestyle, and no prior history. It was just at a routine exam that my doctor felt a lump, got it checked, and then fast forward, it was diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer and this particular breast cancer. And I thank God that it happens how it happens, right? Um, sometimes we don't understand why things happen to us, but we don't even appreciate that the significance or the insignificance that we could have had it worse. Whew, that's a whole message right there. So this particular breast cancer is cancerous cells were aligned in the milk ducts of my breast tissue which means it did not spread throughout the entirety of my breast um at the time they saw calcifications in my right side and thank god that it did not spread or metastasize and spread spread uh spread throughout my body i had little to no symptoms but I had pain in that area for years, at least two years I had pain in that area. So fast forward, you know, the pandemic now hits, it affects my job, my position at the courts because now we have to go remote, go virtual. So now I'm stuck with the thoughts and feelings of this breast cancer diagnosis. I'm stuck alone, isolated in my home with now, what are we going to do for work? Am I still going to get paid? What's happening with business? Is things going to be the same? What's going on, right? Everybody's scrambling. And I had to. And, and I thank God for having people in my life that I can lean on that are my rock. My mother opened the doors to her house. She was like, you could come stay with me. So, you know, you don't have to be alone in this. You don't have to feel alone in this. So I came and I stayed with my mother for at least the first month during COVID, having to have telephonic virtual videos with doctors. I had about seven different opinions, y'all. Seven different opinions from plastic surgeons to breast surgeons um, to, and, and again, this is COVID, so you can't go in, you can't be seen, you can't be touched. And for those who wanted to be seen, to be touched, they, they, they act like they didn't want to touch me, all right? They didn't act. So I prayed and I asked God, and I was like, Lord, just, just send your help. Send your help. And I'm telling you, God answers prayer. He hears the words, the lips, the hearts of his righteousness, of his, of his children, and he answered my prayer. So lo and behold, I went through, again, sixth opinion or my seventh opinion. I found the right surgeon, the right doctor. I added him to my team. We came in from February when I was diagnosed to June when I laid down on that table and I was confident that God already healed my body. I was like, Lord, you did it. And if you did it, if you did it for me before, when I was months old and my intestines twisted, and at that time, the doctor said that they didn't know if I was going to make it through the night. If you did it for me before, when I was months old, Lord God, I thank you right now that you're going to do it again for me. And when I laid down on that table in June of 2020, I woke up almost 10 hours later and I couldn't re reach my hands up. I couldn't bend down. I had tubes coming out of me, but I said, Lord, I thank you. I lifted my hands up as far as I could and that was probably like right till here. And I said, Lord, I thank you. 
Thank you for healing me. Thank you for touching my body. Thank you for your hands of protection, Lord. Thank you for now allowing me to catch COVID in this hospital. Thank you for now for removing the cancer cells, from removing all of this cancer cells, but not doing a, a, a partial healing. Because the doctors, they don't want to call it, they don't want to call it a cancer free. Because that puts a liability on them, right? They don't want to call it cancer free. They say no evidence of cancer, NEC, no evidence of cancer, but I said no, he healed me. And the healing is not a partial healing, the healing is a complete healing, it's a full restoration. Glory be to God. I thank you right now, Father. Thank you, Jesus. It's a full healing, full restoration. He made all things new. He made all things new all things new so as I look back at that time and I'm like okay so now I can't move the doctor says I can't reach my hands up I have tubes coming out of my sides uh, tubes coming out the sides of my, my breasts I have tubes coming out the sides of my hips because of the type of uh, re uh, reconstruction Lord, I, I, I'm home. The courts are still closed. What am I supposed to do? I got this business. I got this jewelry. You know, thank God that the, the check still was coming in from work. But Lord, I, I still want to help your people. I know this can't be it. I know this just can't be it. He said, your breakthrough is not just your healing, but it's in the sharing of your testimony. It's in this gift that I placed inside of you. It's in this gift that I packaged to you in this business idea. It's this gift. It's your purpose. It's what I've planted inside of you since you were a, a seed in your mother's womb. And here's the thing. I'm a PK kid, right? So, you know, we, we have a lot of... <laughs> responsibility or expectations I should say you know growing up there's a lot of that so all this time I'm running 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 right running away he's a mighty yes he is he's a mighty God I'm running from my calling I'm running from my purpose I'm running from the things that I already know that I'm supposed to do right the person I know I'm supposed to become and I'm dibbling and I'm dabbling in things. Just see if it fits. But the Lord says, not your plan, but it's my plan. It's my will. It's my will. And if I give this to you, then who are you to decline it? You gonna <laughs> His will is going to be done voluntarily or involuntarily. <laughs> right? So I started to pray and I asked God to transform my mind as he transformed my outward, my physical body. And I said, Lord, thank you for this gift of this jewelry business. Thank you for the gifts and the talents that you have gifted me, uh, the skills, the creative thoughts, the creative skills, the technical skills that I can use to help other people. And by the sharing of my testimony, I started to share more and more. And in the sharing, I said, listen, this business, he did not just give me to sit on it. This healing, he did not just give me to sit on it. I got to share with somebody else. So as the business, as uh, I started healing, I started using the virtual part of my business, sharing my website so that I can continue to compound. Again, my bills are being paid from my main source, my employer, but I was able to compound, right, compound from my business revenue. I was able to use those profits to then get extra things that I needed for my health, for my care, for my recovery. And then even in the surplus, God is like, listen, I know that I promised you uh, blessings, but here's the abundance. Here's the overflow. And I remember distinctly that year, that year, once I was too free, uh, 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 physical therapy, I was still in physical therapy, but I wasn't restricted to tubes and things like that. Um, thank you. Uh, my, my package just arrived. Um, I was able to walk down the aisles of Walmart and we some last minute shoppers, but I walked down the aisles of Walmart, my mother and my son. And I said, whatever's on these shelves, put it in the cart. Don't look at the price tag, put it in the cart. It was from the blessings of the business 
the people that I was impacting, the people that I was sharing, the people that were supporting me, and I equally was pouring into them the blessing bags, the, the blessing bags of jewelry, the blessing bags. It was through my team's effort when I was sharing my, uh, sharing my testimony and those who wanted to support me, supported me and they joined and they started to see their and realize their own success. My team grew from July to uh, December of that year. I started with one person in August, which was my sister. And by that December, I already had about eight or nine business partners. Eight or nine business partners. And to God be all the glory because it's not anything that I could have done. But to him, when you're doing the work, when you're planting your seeds, when you're walking in your purpose, when you're fulfilling the calling that's over your life, that's when God is going to bless you. And not just that surface level blessing. That's the abundance. That's the harvest. That's the, that's the oh my gosh, that's the out of your mind, the exceeding. Right? Hi, Carla. Oh my gosh. My beautiful seven figure earning elite leader, the beautiful Carla Neal Pierce, also my fellow sister, warrior, champion. Cancer champion is on the line. Thank you so much for tuning in, Miss Carla Neal Pierce. That's when God is going to do what he says, right? His promises are not to never leave you and forsake you. So in those dark moments where I'm feeling like, am I doing enough? Am I really reaching an impact? Am I really having, uh, seeing the success that you have me to see, Lord? Am I really walking in that? God plants these beautiful, beautiful messages through others, girl. I see you. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for being the inspiration, right? Lord, you know, I, I'm here now and this is, this is, this is the priming season, right? You know, in the springtime, we plant our seeds all throughout spring, all throughout summer. We're watering, we're watering, we're run, watering. Here comes the fall. It's harvest time, y'all. I'm super excited. Yes, the exceedingly and the abundantly is harvest time. So I know the seeds that I've been planting. Glory be to God. I know the seeds that I've been planting are not going to be dead on arrival, are not going to be no, are not going to grow into weeds. I know that what God placed in my life, in my belly, in my hand, he said, everything attached to me shall prosper. Everything attached to me, my posterity, my legacy, my business partners, my downline, my upline, my sideline, my sisters. The people that I've yet to meet, the people that I've yet to come in contact with. And it doesn't always have to mean in a monetary form. I promise you that. But guess what? Don't know how that light bill got paid, but it's paid. Right? Don't know where that $5,000 deposit came from. But guess what? My taxes are paid off. The HOA is paid off for the rest of the year. Right? Right? He says, listen, I have you here in this season for this time. If you operate and be diligent with what I have with you doing right here, right now, I will make you ruler of more, of greater. And sometimes I was rushing to that finish line without even preparing for that process. And I had sp spoken about this once before. It's like when you're trying to get ahead and you're skipping the important parts, you're skipping parts of the important parts of the process, parts of the journey, it leaves you arrived unprepared, unknowledgeable, and you don't even know what to do with it. So I'm grateful for the, for the, for the journey. I found joy in the journey. I found purpose in light of my pain. And this beautiful opportunity here at Paparazzi Accessories has allowed me to, uh, exploit my gifts, so to speak, to show my creativity, to be a blessing to others, to not just showcase, you know, some fabulous jewelry, but guess what? This piece of jewelry is going to have you walking in that boardroom command in that position, land in that job, right? This piece of jewelry that you're going to give to somebody else is going to have them walking in confidence. It's going to bless their life. It's going to have them walk into rooms and having the table shift because they need to know who that person is, right? They look good, but who are they? Their presence, their spirit is commanding, right? So this is more than just sales, 
This is not sales. It's not just sales for me. Thank you so much, Miss Carla Neil Pierce. I love you. This is more than just sales. It's about souls. We are kingdom builders. We are empire builders. We are queendom builders. And it's his business. My heavenly father is, is, is my number one business partner. My number one business partner. My heavenly father is my number one business partner. So as I'm sharing the opportunity with you to partner with me, to join this business, not just for the sake of a coin, because it's as little as $20. It's as little as twenty dollars to start your business. You know how many how many things you could purchase with twenty dollars these days? Not much. But show you how to turn this twenty into forty, forty into eighty, eighty into one sixty, one sixty into what's what's the next one? Five twenty, right? How to turn these single digits into thousands? How to make a greater impact, not just in your life, but in the lives of those around you? This is about community. This is about sisterhood. This is about empowerment. This is about your posterity. This is about legacy. Whoo! Just when you thought he has forgotten, he has not. He's his word says, ne "Never have the righteousness been forsaken. Never." And he won't start with you today. And it won't start with you today either, Talisha. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So I want to implore you. If you've been teetering on the edge, if you've been thinking about it, contemplating, waiting for this person, waiting for that person, you don't need nothing. You don't need no one. He's already given you all that you need to succeed. He's given you all that you need to succeed. All he is asking for is your yes. He just wants your commitment. He just wants that yes. He just wants you to yield. And that's one thing that I failed to do. <laughs> that's one thing I failed to do early on. Like I said, to God be all the glory because he's going to get the glory. All these years I've been running around in my 20s and even in my early 30s, I'm chasing relationships, trying to, you know, be the, the perfect girlfriend so I could get the ring and I could buy the house and we could have the fabulous car and the, and the white picket fence and, you know, be educated so I could fit in certain groups so, and to be able to travel and do this and do that. I'm chasing the wrong thing. My face was in the wrong book. My face was on Facebook. My face was in the wrong book. My face should have been in the word of God. And what he says he has for my life. And the plans and his purpose that are for me. That are not to harm me, but to prosper me. Bring me hope and a future. That's his word. And I believe his word is true. Woo. This was a candid with Kiri, y'all. I, I really said, I said before I pressed the live button, I said, Lord, I just want you to have your way. I don't know how this is going to come across. I don't know how this is going to be shared, but Lord, just have your way. Have your way. As little as $20 can change your life. Now, the $20 is not going to get you the jewelry, but you got access to it. The real investment is in the $99 VIP. This is the Verified Influencer Pack. But I understand times is hard. I know I understand kids are back to school. I understand, hey, mama and them, mama, you're going to have to wait till I end this to go back to watch the beginning. Because, woo, girl, what I said, I act right before you love. I was like, I'm going to ask God to use me. Curve my tongue. He curved it, too. He curved it. So now the, the doors of the church are open. Here's benediction. I, I don't even know it's been two, it's been a half hour yet. So for as little as $20, you can start your business today. I'll show you how to turn this $20 into whatever you desire by the end of the month if you enroll today. I'll show you, right? My business partners are on here. My downline is on here. My sister sidelines are on here. They, we, we are a collective. There is no man left behind unless they want to be. Okay? Make sure that's clear. Unless they want to be. 
but this is an us thing for us by us and it is my purpose it is my mission my missionary work to see my brothers and specifically my sisters succeed my sisters specifically succeed we're breaking generational curses. No longer will my son have to fill out any student loan applications like I had to do for school. You know why? Because between his IRA account and his personal checking account, he'll have enough money for a full scholarship ride to whatever college or university he desires. That's what I've set up since I started this business. I'm leaving this to him. I said this is about legacy, right? <laughs> Talisha said, if I wasn't already, I would join today. <laughs> right, you in business for yourself, but not by yourself. I'm telling you, it's more than just jewelry sales. This is my purpose, my missionary purpose, to help others, help you realize and materialize the greatest version of yourself. And it's as little as $20. But if you're serious and you really want to make an impact, you really want to jump in and just say, you know what, Lord, I'm going to surrender. I'm going to give it my all from the jump. This is what I want to do. I may not know the how, but I know that you have people in place that can assist me, that can teach me. I know I don't need to know the how. You didn't give me the the uh, the vision for the dream for the journey. You gave me the vision for the dream. So the vision for the journey is going to come by way of assistance, meaning I already have all I need to succeed. That would be with the VIP kit, the Verified Influencer Pack, which is ninety nine dollars plus tax if it's applicable, if sales tax is applicable in your state. There's a link right here that I'm going to feature. It's right here. It says, join me with the $20 party permit, or you can select the verified influencer pack for $99. And I'm telling you, this is the best investment you can give to yourself. The time is now. One thing that I've learned from these last almost four or five years, especially in the eye awakening uh, experience of breast cancer is that time waits for no man. Time is limited. Time is precious. It's the most important gift. I don't waste no time. My team will tell you too. I, I don't like my time being wasted <laughs> and I don't waste no time, right? Because that's a gift. It's something valuable that you can't even put a price tag on it. So I want to implore you now to partner with me and let me help you be your blessing builder. Let me help you build your blessing. So if this is something that you'll be interested in, again, the link is right here. You can message me directly. You can contact me on my cell. My business cell is 347-671-7223. You can reach me at kstylecollection at yahoo.com. Or if you're able to see this, you can also DM me. I want to thank you so much, so much. I'm so <laughs> she said, you don't know, I got you over there crying. Thank you, sis. I just, I, I, I am a willing vessel. I am a willing vessel. And, and I thank God for you, as well as all of my sisters who continue to keep me uplifted in prayer, keep me encouraged, keep me empowered the same. Because I'm telling you, I, like I said, I'm human too. Sometimes I feel like I'm insufficient. Sometimes I get those feelings of inadequacy. Or, you know, sometimes I, didn't, I don't meet my goals. But I know that my efforts are not going to be in vain. And if it's not for me if God, if I'm not going through it for myself then I know I'm going through it for somebody else and I'm just a willing vessel being used by the Lord so thank you so much I love each and every one of you and I can't wait to see you here on the pink side soon welcome to the team I'll say that uh, uh, an early congratulatory welcome to the team the doors of the church are open you guys have a wonderful afternoon love yous Mwah.